Welcome to day four of our quarantine sessions. Today I'll address a very, very important question. What to do when you are in quarantine or even worse, isolation? Here's a few tips for you. Borzum, one of the most brutal, most violent of all the Norwegian black metal bands, has come out with a new album two days ago. I expect nothing but guitar shredding, uh, infernal screams and shrieks of paganism and satanism from the man who brought you Lost Wisdom and Dunkelheit and church burnings and murder and mayhem. Well, okay, not mayhem, but the rest, yes. So, let's check out the new album Thulian Mysteries that came out two days ago. Should be a good program for quarantine. All right, uh, let's get started. Let me just turn up this baby real loud because only way to feel the noise is when it's good and loud. Remember, let me. Okay, so let's see. See where are we? Thulian, Thulian. Yes. Ooh, this is gonna be brutal. Very mysterious intro, but. That's just, you know, the more mysterious the intro is, the heavier the guitars kick in and it's the beginning of an album. It's a long intro, but trust me, trust me, it's gonna, it's gonna hit you, it's gonna hit you in the head. The intro is almost up, just a few seconds. Song 2, song 2 coming up just in a few 15 seconds. Now. Maybe he decided to have two intros on this album. It's an unusual thing to do, but God knows what work wickedness has in his twisted mind, because twisted that is, trust me on that. Okay, uh, we're, we're at song number three already, apparently. Now you can feel, now you can feel that it's headed somewhere. It's just like old Slayer songs, when they just have the acoustic beginning and then...
Maybe now it kicks in. This definitely sounds like it. We've, we've been through half an hour, but maybe now. Keep up the hope, people. What year is it? Oh, it's over! Okay. Don't do this. Let's find something else. <sighs> Once the quarantine is over, you might want to come out from your lairs and caves stronger, faster, and even sexier than you were before. Now, the only way to do that is to keep doing regular exercise. For example, push-ups. Just like this. One. Two. Three. Four. Now, the problem with this is that it doesn't last too long, this activity. I mean, I'm, I'm among the strongest there are, at least in Norway. And uh, five push-ups is pretty much the maximum any human being can do. Um, maybe maybe some can do six, like the, the very, very impressive ones. But... Wow, okay, like one, once I heard a legend that someone did seven push-ups, but, but that's, uh, you know, like fake news, people. Don't believe that bullshit. So five push-ups a day. That's, uh, if, if you can do that, then, you know. But other than that, uh, fuck it. Let's try to find something else that's a bit longer and more entertaining. There is literally no better time than this to learn to play a new musical instrument. Well, I already played the guitar, so now I picked the violin to play because supposedly that's one of the easier instruments to learn quickly. Let's give it a shot. It's a one string violin, but still, you have to hold it like this. I think I'm not really. Come on, man. do the noise. Okay, do something else. All right, Gerhard. I got you this time. All in.
All right. And now the moment of truth. I've got an ace. What you got there, Gerhard? Show me. What? You must have cheated, you son of a bitch! I'm never gonna play with you again, you motherfucker, you! Bye. Well... It turns out it's not so easy to survive these quarantine isolation times. Not only am I bored, but now I'm broke as well. Thanks to Gerhard, the unicorn. So, what do you suggest to do in quarantine? Leave your answers in the comments. And subscribe to my channel. I hope you learned something new today again. And see you, maybe not tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow. Bye!